Hey guys, Ron here, and welcome to my 100,000 subscribers Q&A. Uh, usually I script an intro, but I didn't this time, so we'll see what uh, what happens. I, I may not even edit out any mistakes I have throughout this whole uh, Q&A, because might as well not put too much effort. But uh, this should be fun. Um, if, you, if you're not into Q&As, you might as well just actually put this on another tab, tab it out, and just listen to my voice, uh, because nothing crazy is going to happen visually. Um, you can listen to the nice background music, um, and my voice, obviously. But, uh, let's get to the questions. Um, I'm gonna go through Facebook, Twitter, and obviously, uh, comments on my YouTube channel. And there are a lot of, uh, doubles. A lot of people asking the same questions. A lot of people ask questions that were answered in my other Q&As. So go check them out, because I won't be- I won't even try answering the questions that I already answered a billion times. I may answer a few again, but, um, just to let you know, my favorite uh, Pokemon is Sceptile, my favorite color is green, I don't have a girlfriend, uh, True Green 7 it comes from a, a show that I made up with the main character called True, green, True Blue, his sidekick was True Green, and I, my favorite color is True Green, so I gravitated, my favorite color is green, so I gravitated toward that character, and used his name for my channel, and my favorite number at the time was 7, so um, now it's 17, but um, True Green 7 is gonna stay forever. Um, you never know if I over if I even open up a, a production studio or something I may call that studio true green uh, productions or something. I don't know But let's get to the questions. We'll start with Facebook Joseph asks your top 10 Pokemon movies. Okay um, Any any kind of question like that like any top 10 What's my top 10 favorite something They will be answered in a video, so I'll, I'll save that for a video. Um, I'll, let, I'll let you know that I really like uh, Destiny Deoxys more than other people do I like uh yeah, I really do like the fr the first nine movies. I didn't watch a lot of the cinema movies, but I hear they're really good, so... Um, and I only watched the Keldeo movie from Unova because, uh... Vic Manana, the voice of Edward Elric from Fullmetal Alchemist, is Keldeo, so... Whatever. Let's go! Tim Ledger asks, If you could dub any banned Pokemon episode into English, which one would you choose and why? Um... I'd probably dub... The episode that was taken out with the gun, the Dratini episode, because I do like doing like low voices and raspy voices, and I feel like, wait, those that episode was actually dubbed. Actually, that episode was dubbed, and ha and some of the some of the uh, bikini episode w was dubbed too. So, what episode wasn't dubbed though? I don't know, but yeah, I'd probably do the Dratini episode because I do like I like doing raspy voices, like. Hey, kid, give me that gun or something. I don't know. <laughs> or here, take this gun. Um, if you could live on, if you can live in one Pokemon game, which would it be? Oh, I skipped a question, but I'll go back. Annalee asks if I could live in, in one Pokemon game, which would it be? And such as if you choose Pokemon Black, then you would be the protagonist and the storyline would change depending on your choices. Oh, so I would have to follow the storyline. Um, black and white seems less dangerous than Ruby and Sapphire. Um, but I, I would really like to live in Hoenn, so I would do Ruby and Sapphire, and I'll, I'll probably, I'll, I probably won't die, but I, I'll get to see Groudon and Kyogre and their whole deal, and Rayquaza if it's, in, if it's Emerald. Um, yeah, I'd, I'd say, I'd say Ruby, I'd say Emerald. Kyra asks, who is your favorite gym trainer? Favorite gym leader is, I don't know, I'll answer in a video. Um, Hannah asks, if you could be any type of trainer in game or anime, which type of trainer would you be? I'd be a cool trainer, because they're cool. Uh, and I'd probably use, uh, I'd use a Sceptile. Sceptiles are pretty cool. Are they called, they're not cool trainers anymore, right? There aren't, the Ace Trainers were replaced with cool trainers? Or cool trainers were replaced with Ace Trainers in Gen 3? I don't know. I don't know. Ace Trainer, cool trainer, the ones that look really good. Mauricio Vasquez asks, how old are you and can you do a Draw My Life when you get 150,000 subscribers? Um, I'll do a Draw My Life probably 200,000. Um, and I'm 19, turning on 20. Jonathan asks, if I were a gym leader, what type and which Pokemon? Uh, I would do grass types and Sceptile would be my final Pokemon, but I'd make sure to have dual grass types. So dual type grass types like, uh, I don't know, a Tropius. But like, I wouldn't have a Tropius, he's probably not that strong. But, um... All the starters. Oh, that would be cool, but not only like one of the only two of them are dual type. But still, that would be cool if I can have all the starter gra grass types. That'd be nice. Um, do you think we will ever see Rayquaza in another Pokemon movie by Michael Lylas? We saw him in two, 
So in two movies, I I don't think yeah I don't think we're gonna see him anymore. Maybe like in like you know how in the beginning we have uh, the world of Pokemon introduction where you just see like a bunch of Pokemon. We'll definitely see him in there. Uh, what's your favorite gen? Asks Lori Leroy. Leroy asks, "What's my favorite gen and why?" Not gonna answer that yet, but uh, I because I don't know actually. What color is your toothbrush? Asks Garrett Weeks. It is green and purple, uh, which is my first favorite color and my second favorite color. So, Stephen Curry asks, um, if you could meet Ash Ketchum, what will you ask him? So, if I met him, I would ask him why he sometimes forgets the Pokemon that he's seen a billion times before, because it makes no sense. He only did that in Unova, though. In Cows, he doesn't really do that. Sometimes he remembers even Pokemon that I wouldn't expect him to remember, so that's cool. I'm glad he doesn't do that anymore. Um, but yeah, in Unova, he really forgot a lot of Pokemon, and it was weird. Philip Watson asks, what are your favorite kinds of videos to do and what other YouTubers would you want to work with? Um, so I would, I really do like making the music related videos. The music related videos are fun to do because I, I like listening to the songs and then getting to put them in like top 10 lists or, or other kinds of videos or reviewing those, the songs that I'm listening to. Um, but I also really love doing the Pokemon, uh, the Pokemon music YouTuber, the Pokemon YouTuber the Pokemon YouTuber musician video. I don't even remember the title. Um, but that video where I showcase all the, the musicians on YouTube because I really like all those channels. So I got to, you know, go and like listen to all the music, pick the, pick the songs that I like the most. Those videos do the worst out of all the videos. So um, not a lot of them are in uh, being planned right now. But I will, I'm gonna 100% do more. Like uh, the top 10 uh, Sinnoh themes is gonna happen. But uh, not yet. Emmanuel Marin gave a very long comment that is very nice and I love it a lot. But uh, the question is, what kind of Elite Four member would you be? This question includes things like the Pokemon in your party, the moral lesson you'd give to the trainer. Would you be the first, third, stuff like that? Okay, so I thought about this and um, I'd be the third, the third Elite Four member. I don't know why. It uh, seems nice to me. I don't know what type. I may be a grass or dark type, but because I don't know what how it would tie into my moral lesson, which uh, is basically uh, two lessons that I uh, that I personally uh, like and I I uh, hold them in my life um, because they come from my two favorite shows. Um, one, the first lesson comes from Avatar and Korra, which is uh, uh, balance um, that you don't push to extremes, uh, whether it comes to your actions or reactions or even your opinions. Extreme things aren't good. Um, I mean, you could do extreme sports or something, but like re reacting or having an extreme opinion about something um, is not the best. Um, you should have balance when it comes to your life and uh, your opinions or and look at things from both angles. Uh, nothing is black and white. And that's technically the, the lesson of Pokemon Black and White too, so that's good. But my other lesson comes from Fumilla Alchemist, which is to get, you gotta give. You have to sacrifice. Um, if you want to correct a mistake, sometimes you can't and if you really do want to, you're gonna have to sacrifice. You can't just uh, expect things to just turn out perfectly. Aswadel asks, if there was a new Pokemon movie coming out, which Pokemon would you want it to focus on? Uh, every Pokemon, didn't every Pokemon get a movie? Ho oh, ho oh, oh, yeah. Ho oh, didn't get any movie. Ho oh, ho. Oh. Harmon asks, what do you do besides making YouTube videos? What do you want to work as in the future? I am studying to become an animator, a 3D animator. In my free time, I either watch stuff, I uh, I draw, a uh, bike if it's nice outside. Um, I already answered this question in my other videos, so check that out if you want to hear more. Jacob asks, what new feature would you like to see in Pokemon Sun and Moon, and what features would you change from previous games for the new ones? I will only answer one of them. Um, Jacob, so I, I hopefully will make a video about this, but one that comes to mind is that, and it's minor, it's that I would like you to be able to access your PC from any place at all. Um, cloud storage is a thing in the real world, so they should impl implement it in the Pokemon world. Call it something that has to do with cloud. Cast form storage. Aaron asks, do you think the Zygarde forms will be in Sun and Moon at all? Yes. Uh, seems like a kind of a waste. It does. It, it, I don't know. I'm scared that it's just going to be for the anime, that all this, everything, Ash Greninja, Zygarde, everything is just for the anime. That would be annoying. That would be the worst, because then they could do anything like that in the future, and that would be the worst. Um, Anthony Clark asks, what comes to mind when you think of the UK? Anything that is in London comes to mind, like Big Ben and uh, 
and uh, the the Eye and Buckingham Palace. Jack Chamberlain asks, if you could, would you have YouTube be your full time job? Yeah, of course, one hundred percent. Connor Steed asks, what color combination do you like to see in a? Would you like to see in a Pokemon? Green and purple are my favorite colors. Purple is my second favorite color, but they wouldn't work on a Pokemon. It would look like Barney. Um, orange and blue are very complementary colors, and uh, they would look they look good together really well. They work well, really well. They work well, very well. They work nicely together. Um, so um, yeah, orange and blue. There, there's probably a Pokemon already like that, but um, yeah. Nathaniel asks, what's your worst favorite Pokemon trainer and why? I don't know. I'll, I'll answer on Facebook. Okay, that's it for the uh, Facebook questions. Um, if I didn't answer yours, I will answer it later on, on Facebook. Same thing for the Twitter questions, but let's go now to Twitter and then to the to YouTube. Okay, at Datis Terror asks, do you enjoy sports? If yes, which sports do you like? Uh, like to play and watch? And what is your favorite team? Not really. I, uh, I'm, I've always, I was always the artist and nerd, so no, I didn't. I don't enjoy watching or playing sports, but I, I do, I do occasionally like watching sports, especially with friends. So uh, my favorite sport is either football, both versions, American and football. Um, uh, yeah, those are the only two sports that I really actually enjoy watching or playing. RS Vag Vagan, Vaga you get it, asks, what video on your channel required the most effort? Um, so I'd say the Pokemon musician, the Pokemon YouTuber musician video, be and sucks because that video didn't get any views, but um, yeah, that video because really I had to look through 50 channels, uh, tr try to describe most of them in one sentence, pick the songs that represents their uh, channel the best, uh, or the ones that I like the most, and really categorize them, ca categorizing them too. Um, some of them I miscategorized, but for reasons that I'm not going to get into now. Um, but yeah, it was grouping them and also going, try to scripting the videos to have a really well, you know, to flow really well. But yeah, that video. At Goober67 asks, do you plan on uploading more frequently? So my schedule for the last year and a half was one video one Sunday, another video the next Sunday, and then one week break, and then follow the cycle. Okay? Uh, it's a pattern, basically. But, uh, and I'm gonna do that forever. Um, I may, in senior year, when I have a lot of work, I may actually just make a video every other week. During the summer, I may do, a, yeah, I may upload more frequently. And I may even uh, make a lot of bonus videos because I have more times and I want to build my channel. So yeah, during the summer, but not during the school year because no. T Master Apprentice asks, "Do you like the recent Pokemon anime? And what's your favorite season based on Japan's reproductions?" Um, yeah, I do. I, I well, yeah, I watched the recent anime. I didn't watch the only seasons I didn't watch were uh, Unova, basically, and the later uh, Sinnoh seasons. But I, I rewatched the episodes that are good. <laughs> my favorite season, my my favorite season is I don't know anything between the last Johto season and the um, Battle Frontier, but that doesn't mean that I don't love the Kanto episodes because I really do. I, I love them. Almighty Arceus asks, uh, "What are your plans on moving forward with your channel?" Um, a lot. T-shirts, uh, updating the intro to make it 3D, doing a lot of things that will make uh, editing faster. Terran Toad asks, "Do you like Polytoad?" Yeah, I do. Um, at Wooter Dutch asks, will you be doing a video with your 100k awards? So I'm assuming he's talking about the plaque. So yeah, I will. If I get it, um, I will maybe make an unboxing video. But uh, yeah, I'll show it off on in a video 98%. Um, <laughs> Loxton of Noggin asks, uh, would you be up for a collab? Um, yeah. <laughs> so uh, hit me up, bro. It'll be lit. As the kids say. Lorne W8 asks, will you ever do an editing how-to video? Maybe. For April Fools. I don't know. I really do, but like, I'm scared people will unsubscribe. I really do want to make that video. Wonder Weapon asks, where do you get your sense of humor from? Not from my mama. Cause she has a totally different sense of humor. Um, I don't, I don't know. It's, it's, uh, it's, uh, I'd, I'd say it's earned. Uh, my sense of humor evolves every year. But it has gotten better since I started making videos. Before that, I wasn't funny. I'm, I'm still not funny. 
Okay, that's it for uh, anybody who used hashtag TrueGreen7. If you didn't and you asked a question on Twitter but didn't use hashtag TrueGreen7, I'm sorry. I'm sorry you didn't use hashtag TrueGreen7. Over a thousand comments on YouTube. Um, but uh, let's try to get through them. If I don't get to your comment, I'll make sure to reply on YouTube, um, but only if it's a question that has never been asked before. Okay, so to make it fair, I will be doing it from oldest to newest, so first come, first serve. Okay, first question by Abdallah Salam. If you, if Pokemon was real, what would be your Pokemon team? No legendaries and congrats. Um, so, since, just check out my, uh, Pokemon real, my real Pokemon video, um, from Sceptile up, that's the answer. Um, and... Yeah, Sceptile, then the one after that, and then the one after that, and the one after that. Because I think Sceptile was number 7. And then 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. That'd be 6 Pokemon on my team. And number 1 was Legendary, so that's how I bypassed that. Um, and yes, Sceptile was number 7 on purpose. The Magical Janet asks, Pancake or Waffles? Um, uh, waffles uh, with some whipped cream and strawberries. Uh, Paul asks... Who is your favorite and least favorite gym leader? That'll be for a video. Mictendo asks, What would you do if you couldn't do Pokemon videos? I would do animation related videos, animated series. Uh, yeah, like top 10 episodes of this, or top 10 animated series, or top worst animated series. Demond Johnson asks, Do you like Dawn Fan? I love Dawn Fan. Um, I think he's really well designed. The Nemon asks, How do you feel about your channel growing so fast? Um, so, yeah, I feel awesome about it. I feel really confident that my channel is going to grow keep on going because of how fast it, it grew. Um, grew. Zachary Taylor asks, You've mentioned time and time again how Gardevoir is one of your favorite Pokemon, either because of the design, usefulness in battle, and loyalty to its trainer, but I have to ask, what is one fond memory you have had with your Gardevoir in any of your Hoenn playthroughs? So I really like playing Emerald, um, and I love the Battle Frontier. Um... And the only Frontier Brain that I've ever beaten was Lucy um, from the Battle Pike. And I did that with Gardevoir. Um, so, and that's like after like challenging her three times um, and just like playing for like 500 hours. Like literally 500 hours of playing Pokemon Emerald. So that's, that was, I, that's one of the reasons I love my Gardevoir. Because it, it helped, he helped me, it was a he. He helped me uh, defeat uh, Lucy. Millennium asks, would you consider getting an axolotl because you love Wooper? Uh, yeah, actually, yeah. <laughs> but I think they're, they're exotic, so I don't know if they're legal. Trevor Hart asks, which grass-type Pokemon do you prefer? Cacturn, Maractus, or Parasect? Cacturn. I think Cacturn is awesome. Crafty, Crafty Kitty Gaming asks, who wins, Batman or Superman? Also, would you rather fart lava or cry liquid nitrogen? I'd rather fart... Hmm... If I cry liquid nitrogen, that would hurt my face and... They're both bad. <laughs> Fart lava. But, I don't know, what are the effects of liquid nitrogen on the body? On the human body? Because if I fart lava, I'd, I'd explode. Like, I'd catch on fire. Um, and that's like the worst thing. That's the worst thing! Catching on fire is the worst thing. As for Batman versus Superman, uh, Superman would win if Superman was trying to actually kill Batman. Uh, Batman wouldn't actually try to kill Superman unless it was it's in Dawn of Justice. Um, but um, Batman, if Superman isn't trying to kill Batman. Stonefielding asks, what is your least favorite Pokemon? Um, I'm going to answer that in a video. The Pokesaurus asks, what is your favorite dinosaur? Stegosaurus. Canadian Bacon asks, can we expect collabs with Birdkeeper Toby? It already happened. Yeah, but I'll probably make another one with him. Tech Era asks, "Do you have a deviant art? If you do, link, link." What is your favorite Gen Five starter? Um, my favorite final evolution of the Gen Five starters is Samurott. My favorite starter is uh, Snivy from Gen Five. <laughs> Jonathan Knight asks, um, "How do I start YouTube? And if there are any YouTubers that I look up to?" So I already answered. Um, how I started YouTube uh, in my other Q&A, my first Q&A actually. Um, the YouTubers I look up to are The Game Grumps, Philip DeFranco, Nate Wants to Battle, and a lot of others. I should just look up to my subscriptions right now. We're doing it live! 
uh, Insane in the Rain music. I actually really look up to him. He's such a young guy, even though he's like one year younger than me, uh, but doing s a lot of very talented stuff. Um, Vic Mignogna, the voice of Edward Elric. He has a YouTube account apparently, and I'm subscribed to him, so that's why I mentioned him. Um, so Jax Films, John Tron, and uh, Vsauce also. So yeah. Porygon Z asks, what are your thoughts on silverware in trees? Porygon Z is glitching out. Rob Van Hook, or I don't know, maybe that's not how you pronounce it. I'm sorry. Would you rather drink shuckleberry juice or eat combi honey? Um, shuckleberry juice, maybe. But then I th like if you think about it, he's he's a fungus. He's like he's a, so maybe not. To be safe, combi honey, combi honey. But I if if. But not if like the combis are around, you know. Awesomeness Production asks, what do you have against rubbish? Nothing. How dare you Im imply that I hate rubbish. Guys, so here's here's what you guys have to learn. A lot of the things in my videos are just jokes. So, and especially in my older videos, because I didn't know I was going to have a following, people that would actually comment. So any joke, especially that is in a video before January 2015, don't take to heart. Okay? I don't hate rubbish. Robotic Joe asks, are you into competitive battling? If so, in the future, will you ever do some? No, I'm not into it. Doesn't mean that I don't like it. I love the idea of it, but I, I just don't do it. I don't battle competitively yet. PZM Plays asks, will you do a video on something besides Pokemon? So the channel is going to always be a Pokemon channel, and 99.9% .9 of the videos are going to be about Pokemon. Um, but in the future, I may do a a video about like top 10 favorite like animated theme songs, animated series theme songs because Pokemon would be in the top 10 so it would be included in the video. But I would not make a video in which Pokemon is gonna never be related. Isaac Mistfist asks, what is your favorite poison type? I'll answer that in a video. Um, Adam asks, do you still want to change your channel name to TrueGreen17? Um, no, no I don't, but 17 still is my f favorite uh, number and True Green 17 sounds n nice, but no, I'm not going to ever change it. Codename Sabibi asks, what is your favorite console? Um, the console that I've used the most is like a Game Boy Advance SP and I like the design of it, so probably that. But um, I mean, 3DS is pretty awesome too. Um, and the Wii is like revolutionary, so all of those. Nintendo stuff. Crystal Shard asks, do I have a Mewtwo and a Mutant Knight Y or X? Um, yeah, X. There are so many questions that like are answered in like top tens of mine. Like, what's your second favorite Pokemon? Or, come on, there are videos that have those answers. Like my top 10 favorite Pokemon, although that video sucks. But um, yeah, if you have a question that's like, what's your top something? Try to check if there's a top 10 about it, because there probably is. Adam dis Adam asks, bro, do you even lift? Um, I'll, I'll lift the lo lava lamp. Ah, okay, it's hot. It's a hot. It's a hot lava lamp. Don't lift. Don't lift lava lamps. Um, Fox asks, will you make a video with Arizo? Well, if Arizo is watching, no. William Morrison asks, not relating to Pokemon, what is your favorite Star Wars movie? Mine is Empire Strikes Back. Mine too. Now that I think of it though, like I really did enjoy The Force Awakens more than Empire Strike Back. Strikes Back. Cake asks, yes, this username is Cake. Um, if you, if they made a virtual reality Pokemon game, would I play it? Um, uh, yeah. What is that? Of course. And would I get a house or travel around the region? I would... Both. Natalie asks, What do you think about fairy types? I love them. What is your favorite city in your favorite region? Um, my favorite region is Hoenn, so my favorite city in Hoenn is Lily Cove. That's not it's not really my favorite city, but it's the city that I would love to live in. Um, but I love the look of Sutopolis a lot. Mega Broderick asks, Can you please do another Pokemon music challenge? So my brother doesn't really want to be in a lot of videos. He doesn't want to be in any video at all, actually. But, um, my friend Natani is going to come and we're going to do, like, two more videos. One of them is going to be a music challenge. But it's not for me, actually. It's a music challenge for him, where in which I will show him a song. And he's going to have to guess what 
what area or what battle that song is related to, what, what that song goes with in uh, Pokemon. D Hoops asks, how did I meet MJ TV? Um, I think he just commented on my channel asking to collab or just like offering to collab. He didn't like beg to collab or anything. Shadow Girl asks, what's your favorite mythological creature or story? Um, I really enjoy the story of the Golem. Joshua James asks, if you had to go to a country for a whole month, what will it be? Some Somewhere that speaks English. So probably, uh, you know, uh, England. But um, if I was able to speak Italian, I'd go to Italy. But if I... Oh, wait, but if I... If I spoke Japanese, I'd go to Japan. 100%. Why'd I answer Italy? It's probably because I really like Italian food. Almighty Mandals asks a question that I was that I already answered in another video. Um, so you're not getting special treatment, um, Jensen. So uh, get out of here. The Masked Noob asks, how do you record and edit these vids? Uh, with a mic and uh, with Adobe Premiere Pro. Ambro Blazer asks, when is your birthday? The birthday is August 6th. Get me a present or else you die. My Nintendo asks, what is your favorite green? Aquamarine. Aqua green. Aqua green. Seafoam. Seafoam green. Actually, this this green that is going to show up on the screen right now. Sander Dewandelier asks, are you reading this? I am reading this. Oh my god. It was really hot in here, so I took off my sweatshirt. Okay, SFDP Gaming asks, do you play the TCG? If so, what is your best card? I don't play the TCG, but I I collected uh, the cards for like years, uh, but I stopped like seven years ago. Successor Luke asks, what is your highlight and worst moment in Pokemon? Highlight beating Lucy in the Battle Frontier. But my worst moment, losing, losing to Charon. It was fun, it was a fun battle, but I lost to Charon, the first gym leader in black and white too. Don Vo asks, are you going to make a gaming channel? Technically I already have. There is a channel that I already created that has zero subscribers and shouldn't have any subscribers until I announce a an, a plan of action for that channel. It's called True Green Gaming, I think. But just know that that channel was acquired just in case I do want to make a uh, gaming channel. MLG Empoleon asks, are you a llama inside of a robot? No. I am something inside something, though. Ryoko asks, do you watch anime? And if so, what is your favorite? My favorite anime of all time is Full Metal Alchemist and Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. I recommend it to anyone who has a pulse. Emily Engineer asks, have you ever read Harry Potter or Percy Jackson? No, but I saw all the Harry Potter movies and all the P Percy Jackson movies, unfortunately. But um, no, I really like the first Percy Jackson movie, and Harry Potter is my schnizzle. I love it a lot. Um, but I only start. I only watched the series. I only even got into Harry Potter last year, um, when everybody already stopped liking Harry Potter. Um, but uh, yeah, I really enjoyed the Harry Potter movies. Emperor Kingdom asks, "Did you play Undertale before?" No, I've never played Undertale. Um, and all the references to Undertale that you think are there in my videos are probably not there. That you're probably just thinking too hard. Um, but uh. But I know, but I know a lot about Undertale. I know the story. I know the characters, and I've listened to the soundtrack like five times. And I will listen to them, the soundtrack like at least seventeen more times. Um, I really like Undertale music. Joseph Warren asks, if personality was a Pokemon, what Pokemon do you see yourself as? Smeargle, I guess. Arch Fiend God asks, do you have any strong feelings about Yu-Gi-Oh? Is it good? Is it bad? Tell me what you think. Uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! I never got into it. It got, it was, it came out, like, it, the popularity was at the same time, uh, Hoenn was. Or just, like, the beginning of Hoenn. And that's when I started to really like Pokemon. Um, so, uh, like, I liked Pokemon before, but, like, that's when I started to, like, really become a huge fan. And I was always on the Pokemon side of things, and I had to defend Pokemon when other people were like, No, Yu-Gi-Oh! is better. So, I, there aren't any really good memories of Yu-Gi-Oh! for me. There are actually some bad memories, but, like... I don't hate Yu-Gi-Oh pers Yu -Oh personally, and I think it's a pr pretty good card game. I never played it, but I've seen other people play it. Um, it's probably a really good card game. The anime is, I don't know, because I, I never watched the anime. Um, but nothing extreme, no extreme opinions on Yu-Gi-Oh. Shadow Fox Gaming asks, did you ever play Heart Gold and Soul Silver? If so, what was your favorite starter and why? Um, my favorite starter, my, I mean the starter that I picked. Um, so, I, yes, I, of course I played Heart Gold and Soul Silver. My starter was a Totodile. Because I like Totodile, I like Fraligator more than, uh, the other starters. 
Harmony Sketch asks, do you remember how your channel started? And did it, was it always the way it is now? Uh, I started, started with a top 10, top 10 favorite Pokemon. I made that video 2013, but I didn't like that. I didn't expect to make a channel. It was just a video that I made on YouTube, but it's just so like my friends would watch. But then like a year after that, I made my designs video, my top 10 Pokemon designs video. And then like a month after that, I made the, uh, the cute Pokemon video. And then starting from that video, I made my channel basically. So yeah, I'm not my cute. Actually, it was the Hoenn video, the Hoenn top 10, the top 15 Hoenn, not the cute video. Uh, but my channel took off from the cute video. But um, yeah, um, it was it technically was always top 10s. That's the original. That's the original formula, boy. Gyro Blitz asks, do I like Doge or Doge? Uh, yeah, I love it. I love that meme. Pikachu227, your Pikachu asks, are you going to make legendary thoughts in Pokemon Me Part 3? Yes, but you have to understand that I don't have a capture card. So I need footage from people. I may even make a video asking people for footage of Pokemon Me HD footage. What is your favorite YouTuber beside yourself? Um, Aaron Hansen and Dan Avedon of Game Grumps. Sindrosh, Sindra ISP? Sindra Wisp asks, do you think the Distortion World will appear in any non-Diamond and Pearl related game? Nope. C Pro asks, what do you think of Palpatode? Um, I had a Palpatode, I really liked Seismitoad, I used him in Unova, my first playthrough of Black, and yeah. So I, I like him. I like Palpatode. I don't I actually don't really like Palpatode's design. I I don't like uh Palpatode's design, but I do like Seismitoad. Garatina asks, Do you like me? I like you, Garatina. If you could make the Pokemon world real but a random person would die for your fault, what would you do? I hate to say it, but if I really did not know the person, and if there's like a 50% chance that it wasn't a good person, I'd make the Pokemon world real. Ellie Labor asks, what is your favorite thing to do on Hanukkah? My favorite thing to do is play with the presents that I got. I don't get presents anymore, but when I did, that was what I would do. And, uh, you know, buy and, and like eat. <laughs> Bonabelle Lemons asks, how do you feel about the LGBTQ community? Um, it depends what they think of me. Because I don't know, if they hate me, then why, why should I like them? It's not about what community you belong in. It's about who you are inside, you know? I, I only judge a person based on who they are as a person, okay? Not not what they are part of. Uh, just don't worry. Nothing bad. I don't think anything bad about the uh, LGBTQ community. Although I don't know why Q was added recently. That's a recent thing. Back when I was a kid, there was no Q in LGBTQ. <laughs> the, imagine that's the thing that people said back in the future. <laughs> in the future, they'll probably add a lot of other, like, uh, letters. And <laughs> LGBTQRSVKL. They'll add another L in the end. Kimmy F asks, do you love me? Well, I, I recently just said that I only judge based on who you are, not what you're... I don't know you. I don't know who you are. Who are you, Kimmy F? Who are you? Yeah, I love you. Joe asks, do you have hoes in different area codes? No. They're they're all in the same area code. Onslaught of Enemies asks, what is it like in an average day in the world of True Green 7? Me sitting down right here and editing or working on homework. Sucks. Sucks to be True Green 7. Royal, Go Royal Gold Angel asks if I will be his or her friend. Yes. F. Jansen R. asks, what do you think is one of the most underrated Pokemon? I'll answer that in a video. Pokemon Time asks, are you an Amore Shipping fan? Yes, I am. I am, actually. Black Hurum asks, what was the first Pokemon you got with Pokerus? I believe it was... Well, I know for sure that it was in Heart Gold and Soul Silver and like really early on into the game, like first gym. So one of the Pokemon that was on my team. So it's either a Mareep. Which is now now for us actually, so either Mareep. Oh, it may have been a Whooper actually. Mareep Whooper or like Totodile. Ahmad Adila asks, "How was your reaction when you reached the smile goal?" And I love you, dude. Uh, my reaction was this. Oh, nice, nice. Wow, nice. Sonora asks, on a scale of 1 to 10, what is your favorite color of the alphabet? 76. The Amazing Icon asks, do I believe in the Pico? I believe in the Pico. 
Hakem asked, what was your first ever video that got over 1,000 views and how did you react? It was my uh, favorite, it was my first video, um, but way before I even started my channel, the favorite, top 10 favorite Pokemon video, and I didn't really react because it was a slow th process. Starflame34 asks, um, have I read the Pokemon Adventures manga? Nope. Red Shades asks, am I a super secret ninja? How did you know? Rain for MK11 asks, whose team are you on? Team Captain America, Team Iron Man, or Team Spider-Man? Uh, I'm probably on team, Ca team Captain America. Although I do like the people on Iron Man's team. They're pretty... He has, he has the better team. The Lonely Iron Heart asks, my whole opinion on the Israel-Palestinian situation. Which is like the most complicated situation in the whole world. Um, I mean, in one sentence, it is that I want peace. Everybody wants peace. And I'm sure and both sides want peace. Everybody wants peace. Peace is the peace. Peace, peace, peace. Peace, peace, peace. Peace? Peace. Oh my god, more political stuff. Anime Lover asks, what's your thought on Donald Trump? I don't know. I agree with 20-10% of the things that he says. That's my answer, I guess. If you could have a Pokemon to take over the world, what would it be? Rayquaza. Mathages Peerlings asks, what was your reaction to the Pokemon Go announcement? So I was in the bathroom when that happened. So I can't really show you or demonstrate. But it was like, oh my god! And then I can proceeded to uh, poop. If you were a game designed for Game Freak, what new battle mechanic would you consider implementing for a new Pokemon game? Asked by Handsome Harry. I don't know, but I do know that I want parking lot battles, which are battles that they should have had in Unova. Um, these battles would take place, place in parking lots, um, and you'd have one person um, checking for cars, making sure that there are no cars coming in, and you'd ha enter the battle, you would start the battle, and a randomly generated amount of time would, would be generated, and whenever a car comes, you stop the battle, whoever's winning at the moment wins. Um, and each time you, is a different amount of time for the battle. So you never know how long the battle is going to be. Because you never know when a car is going to come and stop the battle. Um, yeah. DM's production asks, How much green can a true green 7 if a true green's good green 7? Seven? 7. That's the answer. <laughs> Lime Joltion asks, How amazing do you think it would be to have Ferrothorn as a playable character in, in Pokémon? I actually think that would be a good idea. <laughs> that would look cool. I'm going to have, because of time restraints, I'm going to have to skip any stupid question. Not like, that. I don't think, I don't appreciate the stupid questions, but I just don't. Questions that aren't entertaining to answer. Um, not that any of these were entertaining to answer. <laughs> and if the question is about, like, things that I just don't feel are appropriate to answer, I won't answer them, and I'll probably answer them in the comment section. Um, and last question by... Luis Feliciano is What do you like better? Pie or cake? Cake, but I like pie too. And that's it! Um, if your question wasn't answered, I'll either answer it in the comment section or it's or it's probably a question that I already answered in another video or will be answered in a, in a top 10 video or something else like that. So please, continue watching my channel and um, thank you for watch- thank you for watching this whole video. It's very nice of you and I really do appreciate it. If you did watch the whole thing, um, tell me, what was the last word that I said? What was the last question? And then I'll know. And then I'll, 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 I'll like your comment or, or to say thank you in the comment section below. Just to thank you for watching the whole video. Once again, thank you for 100,000 subscribers and I'll see you guys very soon.